We are hearing several terms about the shape the industry of the future will take. Uh, one is uh, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, a similar one is Industry 4.0, or uh, the more generic factory of the future itself. I don't think that uh, any of them describe properly what we're going to see. Uh, what we're going to see is not a new revolution, not, it's nothing significantly different from what we've seen today. Uh, what will be different will be the integration of all those components into something much bigger, into something that is augmenting and enhancing the production needs of today's industry. The most important components that uh, will enable the factory of the future uh, have been technologies that uh, are not new, uh, but that have been evolving and have uh, reached recently certain pressures that will allow the integration of those components uh, take the industry and uh, manufacturing operations to, to the next level. Uh, collaborative engineering, as the term implies, um, is the mindset that uh, we're trying to apply into our uh, industrial processes in order to uh, put together, design, product development and manufacturing operations in order to uh, reach the coherence the synergy and the efficiency that only through true collaboration, uh, through true coordination, we can achieve. The role of automation and robotics uh, in the aerospace industry is fundamental uh, because they contribute to particularly important attributes to manufacturing uh, activity. One is consistency and the other one is accuracy. The aerospace industry is a very risk averse industry. Uh, we're very conservative. It takes ages, in some cases, to include, to adopt uh, technologies and processes and practices that have been out there uh, and have been adopted by other sectors uh, for many years. We need to be quicker to do that this time. I'm talking about uh, uh, computing power additional computing power that keeps evolving year after year. I'm talking about sensors, the ubiquity of sensors. I'm talking about connectivity. All of those elements allow what uh, we call the industrial internet of things that will make uh, those components to become more efficient, more productive, and enhance ultimately the result of our uh, uh, industrial processes. And definitely, above all, I'm talking about the human component. Uh, human component that must be another element of that industry of things. Uh, and uh, one key technology that uh, will allow that will be uh, augmented reality. Put all of that together, uh, integrate them properly, and make them work for the aerospace industry. But now, not in 20 years. That's what we need.